Hi, my name is Mike Joint, and I'm a staff member here at Northern Tier. And today, on the shores of Moose Lake, I'd like to talk to you about paddles and paddle strokes. Now the first paddle we're going to talk about is the straight shaft paddle. Very simple in its design, with a blade on a straight shaft with a handle on top. Now the other paddle that we're going to talk about is our bent shaft paddle. This is a paddle that you might not have encountered until your time coming here to Northern Tier, but we really encourage the use of it because it makes each of your paddle strokes a little bit more efficient. And that's because as you're at the most powerful point in your stroke, your paddle blade is perpendicular to the surface of the water, making it so that each stroke, you're pushing water rather than lifting it at the most powerful point in that stroke. Now, when talking about paddles and paddle strokes, it's important that we cover some of the strokes that we use to steer our canoes. If you're sitting in the stern of a canoe, you're gonna be doing a lot to navigate the lakes and rivers and go the directions that you intend to go. Now, we could do that simply by using a proper forward stroke and a rudder technique, or we could do that using one of the four strokes that we're gonna go over that will help you steer your canoe without losing any efficiency on the strokes that you take. Now, when it comes to a proper forward stroke, most, most of the time this will be used by the person sitting in the bow of the canoe. It's as simple as putting your, putting your paddle in the water and bringing it straight back, lifting it out, bringing it back forward, and starting the whole cycle again. Now it's important when we're talking about this forward stroke that we talk about what muscles to use. You could normally think that you're gonna use mostly your shoulders and your arms to push this paddle through the water and propel that canoe. But as you go through an extended day canoe trip here, that's gonna exhaust the muscles in your arms and shoulders. And we wanna be engaging your core. So when I take a, a forward stroke, I like to put that paddle in the water. And as I'm starting to bring it back straight, I like to almost lock my arms and use my core to turn my body. Now your arms don't stay perfectly still, but it helps me think of how I'm engaging my core and turning my body and using the whole power of my upper body rather than just my shoulders and my arms. Now, as you're finishing your forward stroke and you're pulling your paddle blade out of the water, we also like to encourage something we call feathering, which is turning your paddle blade on its side and bringing it forward so that you don't have that wind resistance of bringing it straight forward like this. Next, I'd like to talk to you about ruddering. Ruddering is a technique that we like to discourage here because it takes away from the power that the stern paddler and the bow paddler have just put into propelling that canoe forward. It's as simple as, at the end of your stroke, plopping your paddle in the water and pushing the boat one direction or the other. Now we discourage this because there are a number of other paddle strokes that we're going to go over that help you get a nice efficient paddle stroke with that navigational push at the end that you're desiring. The first of those strokes that we'll go over is the sweep stroke. Let's assume you're in the stern of a canoe, you're going this direction and you'd like to turn off to the left. The sweep stroke has you placing your paddle in and going out and around to push that canoe off to the left so that you can steer in a different direction. The next stroke that I'd like to talk about is the J stroke. Now it starts off like a normal forward stroke going into the water and pulling back straight. But just as you're about to get to your hips with your lower hand, you wanna turn your wrist and have your thumb point down as you slowly start to bring your paddle back off to the outside of the boat. Comes in and back like a forward stroke, but you turn your wrist down as your lower hand reaches your hip, pointing your thumb at the ground and your paddle pops out. What this does is it gives you a good, full, powerful stroke and at the end, it gives you that little push to steer your boat off to the direction that you're intending it to go. Now, a J stroke will propel your canoe in the direction of the side that you're paddling on. If you're paddling on the right side of the canoe, a J stroke will push you to the right. If you're paddling on the left side of a canoe, a J stroke will push your canoe off to the left. Now also, a sweep stroke used on the right side of the canoe will push off to the left and a sweep stroke used on the left side of a canoe will push it off to the right. The next strokes I'd like to talk to you about are the draw stroke and the pry stroke. Let's start with the draw stroke. Let's say you're sitting in the stern of a canoe and you find yourself in a position needing to get closer to a landing to a portage trail. You simply place your canoe paddle in the water away from the boat and draw it closer. 
You can use the technique of feathering to keep your paddle blade in the water and conserve some of that energy and draw your canoe closer to your destination. Now used for the opposite reasons, we have the pry stroke, which will push you away from an obstacle. This entails placing the paddle in the water close to the canoe and prying or pushing away. You can feather back and continue to push your canoe away from an obstacle. So now we're gonna hop in the water and take a look at some of these strokes as they happen in a canoe out on the lake. So the J-stroke starts like a standard stroke where you enter the water and come back straight, but just as that lower hand reaches your hip, you start to turn your wrist down and point your thumb at the ground and bring the paddle up and out. The sweep stroke starts by placing your paddle in the water and going out and around, away from your canoe to push your canoe towards the opposite side of the side you're paddling on. So when it comes to the draw stroke, you place your paddle in the water away from your canoe and bring it towards you. You can feather the paddle back out so that you can continue to do it without losing much power. Try stroke, you start with your paddle close to the boat and you push it away, feathering your paddle back to maintain that efficiency. This has been Paddle Strokes with Northern Tier. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you out on the lakes.